Hello and welcome to How Haunted. Haunted Memories, in fact. This game popped up, it's free to play, it's on Steam. They're developing the program and apparently the episodes will come afterwards you'll have to pay for. Um, kind of unusual game, to say the least. It's just the settings there, you got music, sound, etc. Um, we're going to jump straight into Haunt, the first level of the episodes. Um, and show you what this game is about. This game is part, um, partly problem solving, like, um, there's certain collecting elements and problem solving elements. We're going to sort of mysterious story um, intertwined into it. This game is renowned for its visual effects and for its story element, so... It's an interesting game, so I thought to have a look at it since it's Halloween Havoc Week. Um, we're having this Halloween based games for the rest of the month. So this is Let's Play Monday with Haunted Memories. Play. And one paranormal. Wow. It's abnormal. The sort of game I would, I would rather play on my new PC, um, but I should have that all up to date for next week. However, I'll still have to upload all my programs and spec it up, but um, yeah, I got control yet. Whoa, that's um, a very sensitive mouse. Well. Can we? Oh, uh, oh, good God! Mouse sensitivity is really bad. Let's. Um, I can't fix it. Um, slightest touch of the mouse will spin the character around and round quickly. So. Not really good. And I don't, that, that is me slightly, slightly moving the mouse, so... A lot of glare. How do we go in here? The car over there. What's up, can I move up? Oh, I hear some mice. I'm gonna fix this. I can't. And save the game. Don't have the keys. I didn't have to tell the controls either. Map. 
flashlight. Look at my brain cells. It's using the typewriter function which is in Resident Evil to save the game, so that's interesting. Um, I'm gonna fix it, I'll be back in a sec, I'm gonna go and fix the sensitivity. There, right. Let's start this problem because this is really doing my head in. Um so I'm saying you won't know until you actually get into the game, so I'll have to load the game. Get the nice sensitivity, and oh, this is um, this is a, a problem. But it's best to address this because people want to play this game, and um, I've got to address the mouse sensitivity because people will be dry and driven insane because the mouse will be flying all over the map, and it's got a long ass loading time. Right, it's not as bad as it was. What's that? Like, <laughs> creepy thing in the dark. Um, I'm just trying to scare you, obviously. Get some generator on. I have to say the controls are a bit slow and unresponsive. Floods along like he's got issues, but that's sort of builds the tension and uh, yeah, it's pretty detailed. The game's details itself is tanking my PC. My laptop uh, seems to be. Absolutely attack that that. And then what I say. How do you know where you are?
Where's the sign saying you are? It's only putting these things in, but you don't even know you're going. There's a map, but there's no cursor to tell you where in the map you're going. So how do you know where you are? Like, there's a map. It's, it's a map there, but the map doesn't tell you where you're going. I'm just guessing. So it's an underbrush. The controls have kind of went barmy again. And um, stuck on a wall. I actually don't know where I'm going here. Look at that! This game's totally fucked up. Is this the way to go or not? I'm, I'm stuck. Is that the way you go? It's all stuck. Um, up to load the checkpoint. Wow, this is going well so far. Um, we're well, here to fix the sensitivity again because I think it's dreadful. Of settings and see if I can get a better rate. Cause I don't care about looking pretty because I'm turning the half of this stuff all bloom. Right. Alright, I've dropped that right down, so hopefully that'll fix the problem. I'm sorry about this because I want to review the game, but the game's covered in glitches. And I can't really review a game if the game is like riddled with problems like that. Like it's stuck in the scenery. It's clever. I've lowered the settings, hopefully that'll resolve the ha this effect happening where I'm lagging too much, but Looks like I am, I still... I pressed open that door. Oh, he moves so slowly, he moves, wa he wanders sort of slowly. It's really an aspect of the game, if the controls are not tight then how do you expect to do anything? You need to have tight controls. It's begging for take controls. It's got the fear factor down solid, I have to say. It's scary, it's gloomy, dark. And I've got a protagonist in there, this guy here, and he's got a torch, and that's all you've got.
the maps are quite weird. I'm just warning aimlessly. I'm presuming I'm going the right direction. There's a gate coming up. I presume this is the right way. Um, I think it's not because that's a gate that requires some power. Code. A gate I can't use. Um, it's definitely a final generator. I know what it's supposed to do. Let's look at that little shit of paper. Turn the generator on. Green Park Power Station. Um, we actually have a marker, so. Okay. I, I didn't see a marker before, but it's on this section, so it's, you have to actually phone and open the file up. So the game doesn't really tell you anything. It doesn't tell you what to do. I kind of meandering about in the dark. Hold your hand, so let's see. All right, if we're going north here. Should be able to get some action going. All right. We like pick up a bit of speed, please. Kind of stoning about. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I don't even want to talk about it. The guy's moving that slowly. Um. If you're playing this for lights, um, not playing this, your lights down and it's late at night, then um, you're ruining the concept. I'm playing this mid afternoon, I should actually be playing this at night time. Because it's actually look at the window, it's sunny, so. <laughs> It's ruining the suspense for me, but if you're watching this video at night time or playing this game at night time, it kind of picks up the picks up the the aspect. Am I close? Looks like I'm close. The red light to the right hand side of me. Let's go over here off road. There's a fence, a gate. That's not one. Come on, you're stuck. I'll wait for the press E to open thingy. I presume that's not a door. Or I just can't go through it. There's another way in here. That's about any done. So what the fence is electrified. Seems like I can't get in that section. What? What is that? What the fuck? Ah! Uh, 
Yeah. If you know what that's all about, then um, yeah. If you're into <laughs> if you're into haunted games with bugs and issues, I presume this game is better than it looks. It looks fabulous. Um, you get guns in it, and there's other things added to it. But it's riddled with bugs, and as far as I can see here, the guy walks like he's retarded. He's got pants, ants in his pants. I don't really know what you're doing, really. He's wandering about. There's some mysterious alien that's following you, apparently. And um, if he catches you, he catches you. I don't get what's going on. But obviously, I get caught and I get it failed. But um, certainly, maybe worth a look at because it's free and you can help them fix their bugs like getting caught in the scenery. That was uh, it's DJ Royster and a very short look at Haunted Memories. Um, being free, I would suggest you probably go have a look at this. Um, if, I do suggest if you don't have a high enough spec computer, you might have issues because it lags quite badly um, when I was in the game. For example, my fraps are running at 40 right now. Inside the game was going down to like 3 or 4 or 9 at 7. It was tanking my fraps rate quite heavily, so I suspect you might need a higher spec machine because of the graphics settings. Because there's not anything you can do here. Uh, yeah, exactly. I just crashed the game. It's me, DJ Royster, and that was a look at Haunted Memories. Thank you for your time. God.